So how many of y'all thumb roll? See, a lot of times we like to roll, 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 roll fast. And sometimes you just got to take it slow. You want to get in really, let your body just relax on it. You take the deep breath in. When you exhale, you move just a little bit more. You hold it right there. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, roll it a little more. Just hold, let the weight of the wave relax. You're going to notice that you tense up. And when you tense up, you're defeating the purpose. You're not letting the muscle relax. And I know that's painful, but it's a good pain. Enjoy it. Breathe into it. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Roll forward just a little. Oh, that's a sweet spot. Oh, the sounds, the glorious sounds of foam rolling are wonderful. So this little spot right on me is really tender. So I'm going to hang out here for a little bit. So if it's not that tender for you, you can roll. Same deep breath in and move when you exhale. So if you find one of those sweet spots, when I say it's a sweet spot, it's one of those spots that you really don't want to move from it because it hurts so bad. So you just got to stay still and you take deep breaths in. Yeah, that's the sweet spot. So you just hold it in that spot. Move it just a little. Make sure you're not tensing the glutes. Yes. Relax that butt cheek. Deep breath in. Exhale. And roll slowly back through. So, you can do that however many times you need to to help get that quadricep Released. If you're having any type of knee problems, hip problems, oh, I'm just turning it to the side a little. It's so good. It is. It's so good. Everybody should do this. Deep breath in. Exhale, just slowly rolling. Holding on that sweet spot. Oh, I find that I'm tensing my hands. Yes. So if I'm tensing up and and uh, during this, you might too. So relax. I know it's easier said than done. So when you catch yourself being tense, whether it's your butt cheek, your shoulders, your hands, your gritting your teeth, just go back to your breath. Just say, okay, inhale. Exhale and relax. As you roll closer to the knee, you're going to pull yourself up onto your hands so that you can use your hands to pull you forward. Yes, breath is important. And all I've done is taken my back foot and I've turned it so that the side, the blade of my foot, the outside of my foot is going down. So now I'm getting the outer thigh. Rolling through that, exhaling, moving slowly. Put my knee down. And guess what? We have another side to do. So all I do is move it over to the side just a little. I remove my other leg so that it can be on the side. Yes, your hands probably are going to get tired. No. So this leg here comes forward. That way this thing can roll back and forth. So we're just going to start laying down, just feeling that stretch. Introduce this. I, I named mine, and this is Lou. I named Lou here, and Lou is being introduced right now to the top of my left thigh. My left thigh is not really enjoying it, but we'll just hang out until they come to some kind of agreement. And that's what's going to happen sometimes. You're going to get on the foam roller and it's going to be like, oh, you ain't moving. 
So you just hang out, do some breathing. Deep breath in. Exhale, slowly, I mean like teeny tiny, move forward just a little. Oh yeah, that's it, that's it right there. Mm. Yeah, so just hang out. My hips, I try to keep them level with the ground. I don't want this, this side hip over here picking up because what that's doing is causing tension. Oh, we're relaxing. So the hips need to be facing down and up. So deep breath in and exhale. Go up onto your hands. Ooh. Deep breath in. Exhale, come forward just a little. Wow, I found it. Did you find your sweet spot? It's good. I'll just hang out. Deep breath in. Um, you're going to take another deep breath in and we're going to roll all the way through the front of the thigh. Deep breath in. Exhale, roll all the way through. I'm just going to go back down on the elbows. Now make sure that when you're resting, you don't go so high up in the hip area that you're cutting off the circulation. No, no, no. It's, you know, you'll feel it. You got, you got meat. When it leaves the meat part and it just goes to the maybe fatty part, you know, stay on that muscle that you know, tosses away. Now we're gonna turn it to the side. Oh, yeah, I can already tell this is gonna be a good side. Yep, side on the foot. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. So, side of the foot turns. If you're like me, it's just very pleasurable right now. No, I'm not into s &M. Just get that out there. This. Oh, just hold it. If you got a nice little tender spot, just hold. Now we're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to move it just a little. Remember, deep breath in. Exhale, just small amount. Whoa! Keep that foot on the floor. Both feet stay on the floor. Don't let that leg lift up. Oh, it's enjoyable. Enjoy. Now the hip, now because I'm on the side of my foot, the blade of it, this hip has to turn up. If not, my hips would be all cockeyed and that wouldn't be good. Okay, so you have the hip turned up. You're twisting just a little. Most pressure is going to be more on the left side. All right, now we're going to roll it towards the knee. Go up on the arms and pull forward. This is good. Oh yes, I found it. Back on the elbows we go. So we can hold it. It's so good. Don't deprive yourself of this. Get yourself a foam roller today. Name it whatever you want. This one's green, so his name's Lou. Like Lou Ferrigno for the Incredible Hulk because this guy's bad. He likes to get in deep. Oh. But it's for my own good. Then you roll through. And that, my friends, is how you foam roll the top of your thigh quadricep muscles, releasing those hip flexors, and just giving you an all over, oh my God, that felt amazing, and it hurt all at the same time. That's what I like to do. Talk to you later.